Welcome to Battles and Beyond in today's day in World War II. On September 11, 1939, amidst the swirling maelstrom of World War II, Viceroy of India, Lord Linlithgow, addressed the two houses of the Indian legislature, the Council of State and the Legislative Assembly. With grave concern reflecting in his voice, he announced that due to India's participation in the war, the much-anticipated plans for the Federation of India, which were to be carried out under the Government of India, Act of 1935, would now be postponed indefinitely. This significant declaration underscored the profound impact of global events on domestic politics and policies. It highlighted the intricate tapestry of colonial governance, where local aspirations were often shadowed by broader imperial considerations. With the world at war, the colonial administration's priorities shifted, and India's march towards federalism was put on hold. September 11, 1941, witnessed a pivotal moment in the trajectory of World War II involving the United States. President Franklin D. Roosevelt, sensing the looming threats in the volatile maritime landscape, issued a stern directive to the United States Navy. The order was unambiguous. Shoot on sight if any ship or convoy is perceived as a threat. While the U.S. had yet to formally declare war against the Axis powers, this resolute stance was a clear harbinger of America's deepening involvement in the global conflict. The Shoot on Sight Directive exemplified the U.S.'s commitment to safeguarding its maritime interests and allies, echoing the nation's determination to counter Axis aggression. As 1943 unfolded, the European theater of World War II was ablaze with intense combat operations. On September 11, British forces achieved a significant milestone by capturing Bury, a strategic port city located in southeastern Italy. The success was not just a territorial gain, but also symbolized the relentless push of the Allies against Axis positions in the Mediterranean. Bury's capture fortified the Allies' foothold in Italy and provided them with a vital base for launching further operations. The city's liberation also boosted the morale of the Allied troops, signaling that the Axis defenses were not impregnable and could be overcome with determination and strategy. By 1944, the tides of World War II were gradually turning in favor of the Allies. On September 11, a significant reinforcement bolstered the Allied ranks in the European theater, the United States 21st Corps. Their arrival added considerable might to the collective Allied efforts against German defenses. With every passing day, the combined pressure from various Allied divisions was methodically eroding the Axis stronghold over Europe. The presence of the U.S. 21st Corps exemplified the unity and resolve of the Allied nations, underscoring their shared goal of ending the war and restoring peace. The skies over the Ore Mountains bore witness to a fierce aerial confrontation on September 11, 1944. Following aggressive maneuvers by German forces targeting a U.S. bomber formation, the scenario quickly escalated. Us Mustang fighter planes, ever vigilant and prepared, swiftly engaged the German fighters. This intense dogfight was not just a battle for aerial supremacy, but also represented the broader struggle for control over European skies during World War II. Such skirmishes played a crucial role in determining the outcome of strategic bombings and ground campaigns, emphasizing the importance of air superiority in modern warfare. Thanks for watching Battles and Beyond. Also, be sure to check the link in the description for additional information. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay connected with our daily historical explorations.